Hello, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Nice to have you guys online. Hello, Priest Tokumbo. Oguna. Itoha. Timeless Wisdom. Thank you guys for joining in. Can I please ask you guys to share your timeline? Because a lot of people don't know I'm having my live stream on, on the page. So please feel free to share on your timeline so that we can have um, a big audience. I'll start in the next one minute. Thank you. Welcome on board, Evangelist. Welcome on board, everybody. Um, Madam Ujisola, welcome on board. Feel free, guys, to share on our timeline. Yeah, me, my name's Sig. Oni, welcome on board, guys. Feel free to share on your timeline. Um, I'm trying to treat the slave auction in, in Libya tonight. Omajo E. Maxson, thanks for joining. Hello, guys. How are you all doing? Oh, for Yemi. How is your family? Welcome, 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 guys. Please share on your timeline so that we can have a quick discussion about um, the post I post online just a few minutes ago. Hello guys, good evening. How are you all doing? Um, the time is 10.58, 10.59 in the UK. Good evening everyone. Thanks for joining in. If it's your first time, feel free to, to share um, on your timeline. This is Live Talk with Elijah Brown. Uh, my name is Angelique, as you all know. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome online. Welcome everybody. Um, Oluwa Sheung, welcome online. Aramide. Welcome, welcome, Olaito, Tayo, Yemi, everybody, welcome online. Thanks for joining me. Um, I think this is our second live stream. Um, after a while, um, I've been off Facebook and um, I'm back now. Um, uh, of something just came up um, in our, on our WhatsApp group this evening, about a few minutes ago, and um, it's a um, um, slave auction in Libya. Uh, Nigerian brothers um, being sold on auction in Libya. I've posted on my timeline. I've posted on the page. Um, feel free to click on the link there and um, have a look at the auction that was done uh, with one of us, um, Nigerian African, um, being auctioned in auctioned in um, Libya. Um, it's, it's a bit emotional for me. I don't have anybody in Libya, but um, it's so sad that um, some people still do this slavery whereby we sell people um, for whatever reason, for, for work, for, for anything it, it is. 
um, no human rights, nothing. And it saddens my heart. And um, when we say to people, I know, I know our economy is terrible. I know we all want to leave Nigeria. I know it's very difficult at home. I know some people cannot even manage to eat one square meal in, in, in a one square meal a day. It's very hard. Meanwhile, the same Nigeria, I know people who live like, who, who are billionaires. I know people who, who live the large life. I know, I know, I also know people who, who fraud the system. I know, I know people who, um, who kill, who do ritualists. It's, it's just, if you name it, you find it in Nigeria. But um, it's, it's, it's very sad that our system is not cracking down on, 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 our, on our young men and women trying to escape um, the economy and trying to go into Libya. It's so sad that our system is not, it's not working. And um, if, you, if you have a time after this, um, this, this podcast, can you please click on the link? Um, before you go on, the link is, um, there are three Nigerians that were, that were put on, on the table, on, they were standing, and they were auctioning them. And they were going 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1,000, 1,002. They were actually bidding on them. They called them merchandise. They were auctioning, they weren't auctioning cars. They weren't auctioning clothes. They were auctioning merchandise human being, Nigerian, our fellow Nigerian brothers. They were auctioning them and um, it came up to uh, $400 for each person. And uh, what, what, what do they do for them? They said um, they work in farms because one of them were actually saying it will be good in cultivating, in digging. But why the auction? Because they, they could have just gone there, employed them, and they work. And the funny thing is, even these people who do visas in Nigeria, for people who go to Libya, they are also aware of all these things. They are aware of all these things. And they still go ahead and do it. Thanks for joining, guys. Bola, Folake, Maria, Ife, uh, Super Babatsunde. Thank you, guys, for joining in. It's so sad that the fact that people are dying on their way to Libya, people are still being auctioned. Our girls are going into prostitution. A lot of them are doing house, house, house help while even the boss rapes them while they're doing all these things. I know a lot of people are leaving this chat now to go and have a look. Have a look, come back and join me. But what how are we going to tackle this thing what is your take on on slave auction in libya what is your take atinuke welcome thanks for joining in monsura thanks for joining in what is your take on slave auction in libya i know each year thousands thousands of people cross the border from nigeria trying to get into libya trying to get anywhere as far as they are not in Nigeria, people are trying whatever means it takes them to leave that country called Nigeria. But is it worth it? A lot of parents don't know what is happening. A lot of parents don't understand all these things. If they understand, they won't let their children go. But because they don't understand, they think when they go, they will bring something. Darlington, thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining in. If our parents, if these old women, old men, our dads and moms back home, if they are aware of these things, they wouldn't let them go. The child that was being auctioned is a 20-year-old child. Um, Orente Ayaoga, thanks for joining in. Um, Laide, thanks for joining in. Olayika, thanks. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Thanks for joining in. Um, if you're just coming and you're just joining us, it's a slave auction in Libya. It's on my wall, it's on the page. Feel free to have a look at it and, and what's your take on, on slave, slave auction. 
in 2017. 20, we are in 2017, we are not in 19, whatever it is, and it's still slave auction. Niniola, thank you, thank you. I miss you too, darling. Thank you. What's our take on slave auction? Why are we, why, uh, it, I don't, I don't, you know, when I watched it, I was, I was really sad, but um, now what, what I want to pass across is, because a lot of them will be there, not too bad, darling, I'm fine. A lot of them will be there, they might not be able to work, they might be killed eventually. And the parents are back, in, back home in Nigeria thinking their children are fine. A lot, of, a lot of these boys will never see their parents anymore. Cod Folly, welcome, thanks for joining in. A lot of parents will not see their children anymore. I can bet you that. Because according, according to um, the um, people who, who it was, what, what, what was it called? Um, they had to like secretly film it because they didn't, they didn't, they, the, the girl who went there was, I think she was a Somalian trying to see the way they were hearing this rumor about um, um, slave auction in this civilized world. And then they wanted to know. And um, uh, this more in um, um, Tripoli, Libya, um, li little, I, I think they said they have it two to three times in a month, this slave auction. And guess what? Nigeria has the highest population of people being sold as a merchandise in these auctions. How do we pass this information across to people who haven't moved? This is my bone of contention. The people that are in, in it, I don't know how our government wants to help them. But people who haven't left Nigeria yet, our parents who don't know what's happening over there, how do we relate this message across to them to, to let them know it is not what they hear that is happening over there? It's just like someone is saying, oh, I'm traveling to London. Oh, when I get there within a month, I'm going to be rich. No, you won't. No, you won't. If you're not careful, 10 years, you won't. So how do we pass this message across to our people, to our parents, to our fathers and mothers, that it isn't what it looks like at the other end where they are that it is? How do we pass this message across to children who won't go to school, that their parents are trying to let them go to school, but they are just hustling to travel abroad? How do we pass this message to, to um, children that are meant to learn um, something, maybe sewing, uh, 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 something to do that are not doing these things just because they need to travel. They are eager. Their mindset is just traveling. They have to just leave that Nigeria. Nigeria is so difficult. I have to just go. That is the, my, my, my destiny is in abroad. How do we tell these children? Because I hear a lot of them coming to my inbox. Ah, sister, ah, please help me. I can do anything for you. I just need to leave this country. I just need to travel. How do we tell them? Because when you tell them, it's not, it's not like it used to be 10, 20 years ago when we came in. How do we explain to them that all these places are not what it used to be? How do we relate these messages to them? I need, I need your ideas, guys. I need your comments, guys. How do we relate these things to them? How do we, how do we relate it to these people? How do we let them know that they, they are going to be auctioned? How do we let them know they die on their way in the desert before they get to Libya? How do we let them know that a lot of, a lot of them don't make it to where they're going to? How do we tell them? Thanks for joining in Lakeside. Um, thanks for joining in Olayinka. Thanks, thanks Bridget. Thank you, everybody, my sisters, my brothers, my daddies, my mommies. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. The topic today is slave auction in Libya. Laboli, Latrendi, thank you for joining in. How, 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 how do we pass this message across? 
Abroad is not what it used to be like. Magic doesn't happen. Let us try. That, that um, the link I've put on my, my wall and my page, let us try and share it. Let us join our hands together and share it and let it go viral. We need to let people see what is happening. We need to let people, we need to open it to our parents and let them see. We need to open it to our dads and moms, our grandfathers, our grandmothers, and let them know. Because if, if a human being like yourself and myself is going to be optioned for them to work, it's, it's ridiculous. Because I look at that child old enough to be my son. He's been auctioned. And I'm thinking, what's going on? And I had to read the whole thing and realized they were, they were all being auctioned uh, as, as much as $400 for a human being. It's ridiculous. $400 for a human being. And the money they spend to travel abroad is even more than that $400. And then they get to Libya and they sell them for $400 to Pekini for so that they can do farm work. They can dig. They can do this. They can do that. And when they misbehave, they kill them. So what's the essence of going? And they look so traumatized. I can tell you that. If you watch the video, click on the link, read the com read the um the thingy and listen and look at them they look so traumatized and i'm sure they've been dealt with because they couldn't say anything they were just there like zombie they couldn't they couldn't they couldn't they, 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 they couldn't say anything because if we wait for our government they're not going to do anything our governments are not bothered as the system the system is corrupt nigeria system is corrupt they are not bothered about about us we should be bothered about ourselves if we have any iota of human feeling we should be bothered about ourselves and if we're bothered about ourselves let us try and 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 make this video this um the, um, what's it called, from CNN, let it go viral. Let it go viral. Because our government will look at it and just ignore. But when it, when it reaches our mothers, we mothers, we are fantastic. When it reaches our mothers, they'll stop them from, doing, from, from going. They'll be able to talk senses into these young ones' heads. I cite you, Elijah, you know. Thanks for joining Okora for thanks for joining guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining in. So that is the, that is what I have come to say to you guys. Because we don't know if it was to be a white person, being maybe someone from the US or the UK now will say right. They'll they'll meet halfway and we'll 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 get someone a human rights activist who's going to help us with this with these ones that are stuck there. But they're all, they're all blacks. They're all blacks. Slave trade exists. It's still happening. It's not going to ever stop. It, it's still happening in the UK. It's still happening in the US. But not, not with us being auctioned. This is, this is way out of it. This is way out of it. When someone is standing there like a zombie and, and, and they're calling 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Are, you, are they for real? The ones that are there already in soup. But let us, if we make it viral, more people won't, won't go and get stuck. If we make it viral, a lot of people that are still planning, because every day people plan and go and die. If we, if we, if we do this, if we, if we let it go viral, I, hopefully, fingers crossed, then maybe maybe families will see parents will see they'll be able to um they'll be able to stop this from happening 
because it, it happened in Tripoli in Libya. And it was the CNN that, that um, had to, I'll, I'll see if I can play it on my phone. I don't know if you'll be able to say it. No. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Right, I think Scott off. Right, I can't show you on my phone now. So guys, please, the link is um, the link is on my page. The link is on my main wall as well. If you are following me, Angelic Brown, and if you are on the page on where I'm doing this live stream at the moment, it's there. Have click on it. Have a look at it. Read through it. You'll understand. Because I I I don't know what to say about it. Because a lot of people will pass it. They won't even realize that I've put something there. That is why I'm addressing it. Um, Sister Cod Folly, she said, even though you try to explain to them that abroad is not bed of roses, they will listen. All they tell you is how come you yourself made it. Someone told me when I was in Nigeria that you people were shouting, Ko easy, ko easy. Hey, Jackie, I want not law, try, wuno. I know, I know a lot of people say, say that to me. They'll say, but you're easy, Chloe, you know, Tiwale. They'll say, if it's not easy, why are you still there? Why are you not home yet? What they don't understand about the system is, it's okay to come, spend six months and go. When you don't go within six months, you can't go back anymore. It becomes so difficult. I know people in this country that have been here for 20 years and are still illegal. For how long do they want to be running up and down? For how long do they want to continue doing this? A lot of people have health issues, complicated health issues accumulated bills, health issues, problems that if they were to be in their country, they, they wouldn't even have encountered it. Are you talking about people who have done care, who have hurt themselves? It's, 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 oh, a lot of people cannot even work. A lot of people have been in this country 10 years. They haven't even done one job. They live from hand to mouth, from hand to mouth, begging, begging, begging. But Ashiri Lobo, it's not easy anyway. But at least there's what we call human feeling. There's human rights in the UK, in the US. But Libya, no, my enemy won't go to Libya. I don't have an enemy, Bill. My enemy won't go to Libya. My dogs won't go to Libya. Libya, where, where women are killed on the road. Their, mat, their heads are match, matched off, cut off. Please, at least if they want to try somewhere else, let them try a country that has human rights. Not a country where there's no human rights at all. Not a country where they don't have a right. Not a country where a human being is, being, is called a merchandise, is being auctioned. And people are, are pricing, they are bidding on them like they are bidding on jewelries, are bidding on them like they are bidding on clothes, are bidding on them like I go to auction where I buy cars. It's ridiculous. 200, 300, 400. And it all came to about $400 per human. And there's three of them laid down there. And, and one of them is a Nigerian and he's in his 20s. It's a disgrace. Is someone's child. I might, I might be talking to one someone here and maybe it's someone's extended family. 
that they were thinking is in Libya is okay. He's fine. We've just not heard from him. He's settling down. Meanwhile, he's, he's a slave somewhere. They were traumatized. The way they were looking, the way they were doing. You would think they've used Juju to hit them. They were just doing like Mumu. Please, please. Please, I know these boys are desperate. I know these girls are desperate and I don't blame them. A country you are, you don't know, you don't know where your daily meal is coming from. You're trying to be a, a monk. You're trying all, all possible best to be able to afford, fit in. You don't know where your breakfast is coming from. You don't know if you're going to have dinner. You don't know if you're going to have lunch. You don't know if any supper is going to come through your door. Where, where a seven-year-old is hawking fruits and vegetables on the road, where a 12 years old has been defiled, where nobody has a life, where everybody is turning gay and lesbian, because they think that's the only way to achieve it when they travel abroad. When they are gays, they will see people who is gonna who is gonna fancy them and they'll just travel. Anything to make them travel out of that bloody country. It's ridiculous. And it's a shame. The system has failed us. The people we are left in has failed us. A country where everybody is a beggar. You on, on on social media, everybody begs. Everybody lies and begs. A system where people who, who have PhD, masters, a BSc, cannot even get a job. A system where everybody is, is trying to get a top up so that they can they can see what life is outside. They can chat with people before they run mad. A system where people suffer from mental disorder. People are traumatized every day. A system where abuse is is, is even no, no it's a no-go area. I understand. But Libya is not the place, guys. These Arab countries, it's not the place. It's not the place. I was once a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying Muslims are, are evil, but no, it's not, 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 not Islamic countries. I'm sorry. Um, no, not Islamic countries. No. They are too brutal. The Sharia law. They, 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 don't, they don't regard us as human beings. We are like animals to them. Even if they want to hustle, they want to, warfare, they want to stalk in a country. Not, not these Arab countries where we are still, we are, we, are, we are slaves. At least let them try Europe. You know, not, 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 not that. I'm sorry. <sighs> Thank you guys for joining me. I'll just leave it the way it is. Please sh click on the link. Share. Let us share it. Let us share. Let us copy. Let us let us put it on WhatsApp. Let us let it go viral. Let us let it go viral. Let us try and teach people to click on the link and and listen to it. Read it. Watch it. And so that we know the people who are there. What's it her? Like Yoruba people will say, what's the ha? It only, it's only God that can help them. But at least the ones who haven't gone yet, that are still planning it at the moment so that they won't be scapegoats. That is, that is what I've come to say today. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who has commented. Um, thank you for everybody who has joined me. Um, my darling sister um, that has commented. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, Dupe, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Songobi, thank you, thank you very much for joining in. I appreciate you guys. Um, 
I'll be coming out tomorrow evening as well. I have a very, very important topic I want to discuss with you guys. Um, see you then. I love you all. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.